Hi! Welcome to my brand new channel, 838 Lisa Tabrink. I can't think of a better way to start a new channel and using the term 838 is obviously a nod to Marvel than what happened with the web telescope. So most of my videos are going to be social problems based, but this is so phenomenal that I can't think of a better way to start. I woke up today sad, you know, things are kind of tough in the world right now and things are tough personally. And I got onto Google for something completely different and saw the little icon and I didn't know what that meant. So I t I uh, clicked on it and there I saw something unbelievable, which is the very first full color high def photos of space. It's undescribable to me the beauty and the gloriousness of that moment. And now it's like a whole new world opened up. Seeing the birth of a star, seeing the lights of galaxies and planets that existed millions of years ago is mind blowing. It gave me hope. It gave me. Uh, it, it, it's like awe and wonder all over again. Just like when I was a little kid. We have seen so many photos that have been colorized or imagined that do not compare to the beauty of the reality of our universe that is so much bigger, wider, and vaster than we even understand. Watching a little bit about the Webb Telescope, how they describe it is what we are seeing in these images is holding out a handful of grain or sand arm's length away from you and letting it slip through your fingers. That's how much we have seen grains of sand. How oh, striking. I cried when I saw the images because it was so moving to me and so powerful. It spoke to something in me that I think I buried a long time ago. Hope. There is so much more beyond this world. And it's so much bigger and greater and more strange than we have ever imagined. Doctor Who. And that's also something I keep thinking of with Doctor Who, which is one of my favorite television shows ever. Is that the doctor always said, you know, you humans, you keep traveling, you keep traveling all over the universe. And I never felt that that was a possibility until now we have seen life things that we don't know we don't understand and while it may not all be positive it can't compare to the feeling of how beautiful that this truly is and how just this wonder has been ignited back in me. And something that I didn't think I had.
anymore. I feel like a little kid when I used to dream without any sort of limitations. And it tells me seeing that these photos that we have so much more beyond the limitations of this earth and so much more beyond the limitations of our imaginations that maybe some of the things that I used to dream about when I was little was actually glimpses into the universe. That was Bowie. I... It, it, it's, it's, it's a really nice breath of fresh air. I've always known that there is life beyond this earth and we are just a minuscule in the grand scheme of things. That we aren't any more important than anything else. That life finds a way. I can't wait to see what's going to come from this. I can't wait to see the more images that are going to happen and maybe videos and maybe things that are going to blow our minds. I'm not afraid about this at all. This is fantastic. This is new. I wish my grandpa was alive today to see this. I wish I could have shared this day with him. I wish my parents were alive. I don't know if they would have got my reaction, but it, I don't know anything more magical or amazing than this. How many civilizations are out there? How many worlds? How many planets? How many species that we don't even have an idea of what they are? You know, we're only looking for carbon-based things. That we know nothing. That's the thing. We on Earth know nothing. And it is taking us, it took us a very long time to get to this point, but we're here. And look at the possibilities. I definitely want prints of these amazing first images. You know, seeing nebulous rings. These are just the... I wonder what the wisdom in the things that we have lost over a million years ago. But knowing that every single person that I love has been alive during this light movement, it's a nice connection, especially since I don't have them anymore. I used to think about mom and I wishing on the same star. The likelihood of us wishing on the same exact star in the same light. I don't know how you know, statistically possible that was, but knowing that it was possible meant the world to me. How many stories are there? How many wishes in the sky? How many people woke up today and saw this and found a new purpose in life? And I don't know if I found a new purpose in life. But I definitely feel something I haven't felt in a long time. Which is hope. So welcome to 838 Lisa T. Brink. A whole other verse. Something brand new and something with hope. See you later. Bye for now.